Chris, I ain't seen you in a while. Not since last Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is significant because even if I don't see you for a few days, something's happening. What what, what happened? I know what to, I know what to ask you about. You got some sort of labor thingy happening there. What's what's going on yeah, with that? The Jesuit University of New York doesn't want to give us adjunct instructors and adjunct professors and non-tenure track, even full-time professors, um, what we deserve. The, the, uh, the, the maximum we can make for a course as an adjunct, mm. if we've had many years of service, which I have, is $8,000 per course. And we can only teach two courses a semester. So my earning capacity at Fordham is capped at 32 32,000, which is not enough to live in New York City. Mm. So I have to do other things as well, a little carpentry here and there, a little translation, I teach another course in the spring to semester at a pace. But the university hired Jackson Lewis, the number one union busting law firm uh -oh. in the country. Uh -oh to advise them on their negotiations with us, they charge, you know, well over $500 an hour. Okay, wait a second, go back, go back. Hold on a second, hold on a second. So they, you, when you say they hired, what, 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 you were in the middle of negotiation and they hired, or just from the well, beginning they, you knew what was the, going on? From the beginning, they had hmm. this, uh, this lawyer named Burton Cheney, Mike Burton Cheney. They, Real hard case. Mm. Uh, he was a, he was their advisor in the first negotiations four years ago, and he lost big, and he's out for blood. Mm. Um, and we, so wait, wait, see. So you won you won your case for a, a four years ago. We won our first contract. Oh, your first contract. Yeah. What, what were you doing before the contract? Were, were people just uh, willy nilly? But they weren't just organized. Willy, willy nilly. What they took what they offered. When I started teaching there, I, my courses were 4,200 4, per course. In fact, before the whole, before we got the boost to the first contract, my courses were 4,200. Maybe that went up to 4,600. But anyway, it was uh, less than $20,000 a year. Mm. And we got this boost for, for those of us with long-term service. And I've been there now for 17 years. Mm -hmm. uh, it is. Why would I give you credit if I know you're not? To, to 8,000, which is good. That enabled me to live decently for a change. Uh, and it also enabled me to co-sign uh, student loans for, for Jyoti Patkaka, my little mentee from Nepal. Uh, but I had counted on a similar boost for this year, mm. and what they want to offer us, and the maximum they want to offer us is three percent. Now inflation is somewhere around five or six percent. Mm. It was at eight percent. It may go back up to eight percent. Mm. So in effect, what they're offering us is a cut, not an increase. Okay, I don't want to jump around, but hold on a second. At Fordham University, doesn't Robert Reich teach up there or something like that? Who, some economist teaches up there. Well, who, who, I know. Some, Reich some Marxist. Teaches, Reich, who, Reich teaches at, and, and, and City, uh, 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 okay, I got it. Oh, City College, yeah, Harry Magdoff, I think, is uh -huh. the one that teaches at City College. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, there are, there are very progressive teachers at Fordham. Uh -huh. But you see how universities started? It was the teachers and the students, period. Mm. Uh, I mean, if you go all the way back, it was Socrates and his students in the Agora. Mm. Uh, but in the Middle Ages, they organized themselves and, and created universities. But the universities were the teachers and the students. Mm. Now, the teachers and students are more or less an afterthought that universities are administrations. Okay, yeah. yeah and uh, trustees and they're about raising money yeah but that's happened in every in every i don't want to say but 
that happens in every field. I saw it happen in a in a hospital field. Yes, in, you know, in every it's field. Same, it's the same shit as Mount Sinai taking over Beth Israel and a whole bunch of other hospitals. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> it's the same thing as Kaiser in California doing that. And um, sure, it is the same thing. They're all corporations, so they're following the corporate model. Oh wait a second. It doesn't take it doesn't take the Jesuits, as you say, or the Catholic Church to follow the corporate model. They, they they are the first corporation, so why would you, <laughs> why would they not be a corporate model? I don't. Okay. Well, because the Jesuits are a real schizophrenic order. On the one hand, they are very progressive in a lot of ways. On the other hand, they're the ones that started the Inquisition. Um, so they and they've always been split like that. Well, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, um, there, there are many really fabulous teachers at Fordham. Um, Berrigan was, uh, Daniel Berrigan was a teacher there until he died. Uh, my boss, my former boss, the woman who hired me to teach these politics and revolution courses, is a wonderful teacher. She's retired now. Um, but the administration, particularly the Board of Trustees, is all about money. The students pay around $70,000 per year in, in tuition and fees. $70,000. Now that's more than twice as much what I can make in a year. And I have 35 students. Okay, hold on. I'm, 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 I'm sorry to skip around. Well, I'm not. I always do this. My question, let me go back to the beginning. If you have enough progressives, if you want to call them that, on campus in different fields, and you can appeal to, dare we say, the conscious or the whatever of the Jesuit order, why can't things be sorted out? Oh, well, we do. We do appeal to them. We, we shame them. Uh, we, we point out that, you know, who they are. They're this great... Uh, Jesuit institution whose motto is cura personalis, the care of the individual person. And we, sh we say, you're that, and you don't give a shit about us. Um, and what's their response? Well, their response is to hide their heads. Um, but the, 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 they are represented by a dean, uh, a, a an in-house lawyer and this hard-headed uh, outside lawyer. Okay, hold on. So, the, but that first hard-headed outside lawyer, you defeated. No. Yeah, that's so, why okay. he wants blood this okay. time. I, I got you. But th this inside lawyer, what was what's their stripe like? Well, the last in the first negotiation, I heard this yesterday for the first time. The day before yesterday, uh, she was a different one last time. I had a limit. She was very soon after the negotiations and after we had won, she was dismissed. Mm -hmm. um, she failed in her task. She failed to keep us down. Now this this all this stuff all goes back to uh, what's his name, uh, Lewis Powell's. Or the, the, or the, uh, the uh, Supreme right Court wing. Justice? Well, he was, before he was Supreme Court Justice, he was a lawyer who was an advisor to the Republican Party. Oh, yes. Okay. And he wrote a, an, yeah, a, yeah. a brief that was a blueprint for the Republicans to take power. And it is vicious. Mm. And then he became, guess who appointed him? Ronald Reagan. Well. Uh, and he became a Supreme Court Justice and one of the worst until Samuel Alito. Um, now, now. Now, now. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, I'm not sure Samuel Alito is the worst. I, mean, I was Kavanaugh. about to say, <laughs> well, I don't know about any of that <laughs> there's either. There's Gorsuch and there's, there's Amy Coney there, Barrett. There's sheeps and, the, and clothings <laughs> and all the rest of that <laughs> yeah. stuff. You never know how, some, how, what, you know, how, the, how the twist will turn. But I'm sorry, um, I don't want to belabor your, your, your labor kind of thingy, but what, how can I say this? The, the, the tides uh, have turned 
I mean, I know when I was going to school in the 70s, the, 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 they brought somebody in to destroy Livingston College, which was basically an HBCU in the middle of, 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 of Rutgers University, but we won't get into that right now. My, my point is, we saw him coming, he came from the Rand Corporation. So this has been going on for many, for many, oh, yeah. for many, for oh, many yeah. a year. Just, yeah. just now, just now it's, where's it going? That's what, I, that's what I'm saying. Are there going oh. to be any more universities or any more whatever? Oh yeah, there are going to be more universities, and the, the graduate student teachers, the teaching assistants, are organizing as well. They're out on strike. Uh, we may have to go on strike. We don't want to go on strike because we want to teach our classes. Uh, and when you go on strike, you don't get paid. Um, but we may have to. What we're doing now is turning this whole negotiation thing outward to the public. Mm -hmm. we're, we're having a, a student support, we've got a student letter of support um, that's got, I don't know how many hundred signatures already. We have a public letter that was went out earlier in the summer. Uh, we will, if necessary, have demonstrations. Hmm. Uh, last time we had a demonstration at um, 60th Street and 9th Avenue where the Lincoln Center campus is. Uh, of course. And uh, uh, that about was that. highly visible. Hmm. We, will, we will do this. I mean, they want to play hardball. We can play hardball, too. Um, well, let me ask you this. I, 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 I didn't mean to cut you off. Actually, I did, of course. <laughs> um, but and, and I, I'm just going to say this because it's... it's um, it has to be said because everybody does this. I don't agree with any of this, with this kind of tactic, but it has to be said. You've had many alumni, uh, so-called famous or celebrity or, or we're getting, public... We're, we're turning to them as well. Uh -huh. we're, we're making lists of them and asking them for their support. And there, were, there was also... Uh, the, the, I don't know any celebrities or luminaries or anything like that, but I do know some members of the Fordham SDS chapter in 1968, oh, 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 did occupy the administration oh, building. Boy, uh, yeah, they yeah, only yeah, lasted yeah, yeah. for about 24 hours, oh. though, but they did it. That's what we call the heavy guns. <laughs> and, and, and they're still around, they're still organized as a chapter. They call, they call it Fordham SDS. Really? Really. Wow. I, I just sent an email to them today saying, we're calling on you all. Oh, do not act... You know, here's the here's the thing that I realized because you know we, we travel certain circles. You know, I mean, the, the Venn models or whatever have right. you, and the kind of people that we know, people don't really understand. Sometimes I'd be hanging out with people. They say, "Why are you with that white guy? Why are you with that?" White? They don't understand. I'm with radicals. That's that's why <laughs> I hang out with, with root people. You know, I'm not saying yeah, with yeah. roots like like Jamaican roots. I mean root people like radical root people. Yeah. What? Yeah. And and these folks don't give up. They, no, we're gonna win. They go. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm talking about your SD. <laughs> I didn't know that they still existed. Oh yeah. You bring those up. What I call the real heavy guns, because they do not care. They want the revolution then. They want the revolution now. Yeah. Yes. Uh, man. Uh -oh. Helicopter. You know what that means? But, you know, in the '60s, we couldn't look up because they would take pictures. <laughs> so we better not look up, Chris. Don't, don't look up. Don't look up. Have you seen but, that movie? <laughs> oh. Oh, I didn't. I didn't, but I heard about it. Don't bother. It's, it's not that good a movie. It's, it's a doctor. It's, it's billed as a Doctor Strange love movie, but it doesn't quite hack it. Yeah. Anyway, oh. it's not. It's not that funny. I'm saying, but but but, but I'm yeah, saying, let's go, get back to this. Yes, get back to this more serious. Yes. But the SES, I, I, well, I'm I'm waiting for the yuppies, the the, the, the yuppies. I'm trying to, to to hang out. That that's going to be the next the next move. Oh, oh to have fun. And to have we, fun with the. Abby, boy, do I miss Abby. Mm -hmm. yeah. In fact, let, let me answer that question. Is 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 there a, um, uh, oh, what's the guy from Rochester? Uh, is there a Saul Alinsky on, 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 in the movement? Now? Not in the movement. Is there a Saul Alinsky? Does yeah, it, does, he's does, in Chicago. Does, no, but, but, but does a Saul Alinsky exist? I'm talking about of that, of that does strike. Does somebody like that exist? Yeah. yeah um, <clears throat> he's... Quite a few. George Lakey is one. Um, to some degree, Robert Reich is. He's a little, a little weak. Because, uh, yeah, but most, most of those folks, all they want to do is reform the system. Yeah. They want to, uh, uh, how do you say, make it right for I don't know who, then not the player's two name. Two guys, brothers. Uh,
Yeah, that's why you supposed. That, that's why you have a mentee. You, you, yes. you, 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 you supposed to be she, she remembers things from me. Um, now they wrote a book called um, "This Is an Uprising." Um, there's also a Fordham grad, uh, which I just remembered, mm. named Lauren Duca, who was a recent Fordham grad. She's a journalist, and she wrote a book saying, "So you want a revolution?" Um, yeah, there are people talking about making revolution now. But is there, is there, is there, uh, let me put this word, do you think this kind of action will start galvanizing those kind of people? Yes. Mm. Yes, mm -hmm. and just the way that the Amazon organizing and the Starbucks organizing and the nurses and the flight attendants and the teachers in Ohio and West Virginia, California, uh, all this stuff is happening in the last five years. Mm. This is, this is more union activity than we've seen in a long time. Mm -hmm. Now, true, union, union membership is down to about 10 or 11 percent. And if you discount the public, the public unions, the government unions, it's down to 6 percent. But it's also, there's more, act, more union activity now. Than, than we're not the only ones that are organizing adjuncts. Um, this is a national movement, mm. okay. uh, and inevitably we're going to win. Mm. They're going to try to cost us as much as they can, mm. and it may cost us a lot, yeah. but we're going to win. Okay. okay, thanks a lot. Yeah. Appreciate this.